Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. We're getting off to a good start here. So, I'm reacting to Logan Paul for the first time. I'm very aware of Logan Paul, Jake Paul. I'm very aware of those two. I'm more aware of Jake Paul. I kind of used to watch his videos. Again, it's a lot of those content. They make content geared towards kids where it's like, Oh, check this flashy thing out. Check this flashy thing out. Check that out. There's merch right here, right here, right here. And it's like, whoa, whoa, slow down, you know. And, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's hard for an older person to keep up with all that shit, and, you know. But I think it's meant to ingrain things into the child's head and get the child thinking about things. And eventually they process it and then they end up buying what you put into their head but you got to put so much shit you got to put so much shit and what an older person with somebody like me is going to do is like it, it goes into our conscious too but it's just like we're able to process it filter it out and then say uh get the fuck out of here with that uh let me do the usual let's see let's check this out logan paul charizard He's a 25-year-old man-child living in Los Angeles. This is this is his life. He has the Impulsive po Podcast. Go check that out. Um, huh. Let's get into this. In my opinion, parents should not let their kids watch Pokemon, play Pokemon, buy Pokemon cards, have anything whatsoever to do with Pokemon because the message is violence. Okay, hold on one second. Whoa. Whoa, nine billion? Yo, that Pokemon card pillow is hard as hell. No cap. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think any of you motherfuckers can lie. See, I'm not into Pokemon. I have Pokemon on a GameCube. I play the games. I don't collect the cards. I will not get extra pillows. But that pillow, that pillow is dope as fuck. Is that? Oh, wait, wait, that's, uh, hoo -hoo, that's, what's her name? What the, what the fuck was her name? What the fuck is, yo, she, ah, uh, what the fuck was her name? She's a porn star. Yo, that motherfucker gets down, boy. That motherfucker is, that's one bad motherfucker. I need me a girl like that. That's what I need. Wait, he said, wait, 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 Vinny? Vinny? Like we did on my stream, it's worth 
What? What? <laughs> what? Yo, he, yo, this is a good video. This is convincing me. Okay, he convincing me. He talking about money? He talking about money? Okay, okay. And as the saying goes, I had to catch them all. But here was the problem. Every person that talks about this record sale increases the price again and again. $11,000 for a booster pack that used to cost $4. First edition base set has sold at auction $408,000. This is just completely arbitrary prices because these are luxury goods. It's just based on demand, that's all it is. So although I bought one in September for 200k, they were only now selling for the price point that I set, between 300,000 and 400,000 dollars. This was slightly troubling considering the same boxes were selling for $510 in 2007. That's roughly a 78,000% increase in 13 years, which isn't great for the guy. Who Ooh, yeah, see this, see. This is another thing that's interesting because um, GameCube games are going up too. Fire Emblem, that motherfucking game is three, three hundred dollars, and I started collecting for GameCube back in 2010, and I didn't really get really serious about it till two years, two years prior, two years like 2018, 2019. So that's why I'm trying to get these GameCube games. I'm trying to get this shit the fuck out the way because. It's getting expensive, man. And these Pokemon cards, I don't know anything about Pokemon cards. I probably will never get Pokemon cards. I'll def uh, I don't know. You know, you don't you never know where life takes you, but you know, YouTubers, we're making things expensive. It's crazy. Dang, see? 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 It's his fault. I'm doing GameCube updates. Everybody's doing content. It's COVID-19. Everybody's doing content. Everybody's on their phone. Everybody's on the internet. Everybody. We're searching through videos to see what's entertaining. You look at the things because now, you know. It's like everything is open. You know, back in the days, you used to be judgmental about shit. You can practically do whatever you want nowadays and there's going to be a community behind you. So it's like, you know. <laughs> he bought these he bought these cards he put a spotlight on pokemon cards everybody can be a rihanna now and, and what i mean by that is you got the cars uh what i mean by that is you can single-handedly destroy a corporation by what you say it's possible Fantastic. It is a legitimate box. I don't know if you heard about. In the world. 